Hey everyone, this is Just For Fun giving you another Fungo Pop video review. For today, we have number 935 from Pop Animation Naruto Shippuden, Minato Namikaze. Now let's take a look at the packaging. For the top part, we have Pop Animation, Naruto Shippuden, and number 935. Unfortunately, the box is in a bad condition. And we have another crease here. For the other half of the front box, we have the Fungo Art of Minato and the label and some warnings and details below. The window also has some damage on it. For the left side, we have the standard background for the Naruto Shibuden Funko Pops. We also have the pop animation, the Funko Art, Minato Namikaze, and number 935. We also have a little crease here again. But anyway, on the other side of the box, we have pop animation, Minato Namikaze, half of Minato's Funko Head, and number 935 again. And a bad box damage here. Moving on with the top part, it has damages again, but anyway, we have pop animations, half of Minato's Funko head, and the Funko logo. And here's the bottom of the box, we again have some creases on the top, uh, below, and on the side. And for the back of the box, again, it's a usual design for all the Naruto Shippuden Funko Pops. You have pop animation number 935, the logo, the Funko art, and some details below. We again have some creases here. But anyway, for the regular Funko Pops in this set, you can collect Naruto Six Pat Sage, Shikamaru Nara, Pain, Minato Namikaze this one, and Kabuto Yakushi. So okay, enough of the box. Let's now take Minato out of its packaging. Also, this Funko Pop comes with a plastic base. You can attach it here on the left side of his foot. So yeah, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna insert the plastic base to help him stand. And there we go. It would look like that. This Funko Pop comes with a 360 articulation on its neck, but unfortunately, his hair hits his hand, so it's a bad design. And again, on the back side, his hair also hits his Hokage cloak, so not that good. Besides the damaged box and the poor design for the articulation, the Funko Pop still looks great. Let's focus in on the Funko head. I understand why Funko compromised the articulation for the hair. It really looks like as what's in the anime, especially the color, the bright yellow. Everything about the hair looks great, even on the top part, especially on the back part with the ninja band tied up. It really looks great, especially the paint job. The yellow paint and the dark blue for the headband doesn't really smudge, so that's good. I love that they went with Minato's iconic pose when he's teleporting. I love that they included like the strap that holds the Hokage cloak together. I love the vest, the coloring, the paint job, everything looks great. They included a lot of accessories, one of which is the kunai, which looks very good, and also the pouches that he has on his back. Good attention to detail from Fungo. Here's a better look at his back. Besides the pouches, they included like the Kona symbol at his back, the red one. They also sculpted the pouch on his legs, attached on his legs, so that's good. Also, I'm very particular about the sculpting on the fingers. It looks great. I love it. The paint job is also well done. Again, kudos to Funko. They also included the writings on the back of his cloak that says that he's the fourth Hogage. Really good attention to detail from Funko. And if you're curious to see the production codes at the bottom of his feet, here it is. It's just a little bit hard to see. But anyway, this is one of the best looking Naruto Shippuden Funko Pops out there. This is a must-have, especially if you're a big Minato fan. Overall, a really good looking Funko Pop. And here's Minato doing a cool pose. And another one. That's it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. How would you rate this box out of 10? Peace.